Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, so it's Market Outlook time. A team of the season market outlook. We're going to take a look at community team of season and EFL, of course, happening this week. Talk about the week and league sell-off that was not as bad as we kind of thought it was. And also the content that we could see this week. Of course, we're in the middle of team of the season. We're getting an SBC of some sorts almost every single day. We are three for three now in terms of player SBCs with Kiesa, Zapata, and Sar being released yesterday. So I want to talk about these a little bit. Kind of what we can expect going forward. And also talk about those guaranteed TOTS SBCs because they did not come yesterday. I know that the... Sunday, Tuesday, I believe at some point was a time frame for when they did usually release those. But actually, I went back and looked last year in FIFA 20. They were doing the Monday and Wednesday time frame for these SBCs. So April 27th last year is when the EFL TOTS guaranteed was released, and that was a Monday. So I thought it could have been yesterday. It looks like it might be today if we're getting that SBC. And then, of course, last year on the 29th of April on a Wednesday, EA released the community team this season. So that, again, I'm remembering this now after thinking about it, it always created a very interesting scenario for the team of the season cards that were in packs on Wednesdays because you had the sell-off and the panic selling for that guaranteed TOTS SBC and then a little bit of a rebound. But then again, you had rewards the day after that and the night after that going into Thursday. So it always made a very interesting time. But if they do that same scenario again this year, if there's any cards that you actually like want to buy for your team, then most some of those cards, not most of them, some of those cards might be their cheapest in packs during that time frame. So again, that's one thing we'll talk about this week as well, because I do think they are going to require they are going to put out those guaranteed tots SBCs because they're in the code. But again, let's talk about weekend league sell-off because of course we were all expecting, I was expecting a pretty sizable sell-off. And as things look right now, let's take a look at the index icon. Um, but, you know, we use like gold, Neymar, Ronaldo, and Mbappe. It's kind of like a, a gauge on how much the sell-off is and how, um, I guess, how bad the sell-off is. And right now, Mbappe is right around 320,000 coins, which if you look at his price from Sunday, he was 340, 350K. He's dropped down about 20, 25, maybe 30,000 coins in total, which to me isn't that big of a drop off. And if you look at the rest of the market as well, yes, some of it is down. The index icon was at 41 points on Sunday, dropping down to 38, which is definitely a drop, but it really does not seem like this market has had a crazy sell off. And I think part of that is because people see these team of season community and EFL cards and they're like, yeah, these are kind of cool. But, you know, none of these cards are very expensive. There's no reason for people to go out and sell cards that they just bought for very low prices last week or on Friday for their teams um, because they're like, yeah, these cards are cool or whatever, but nothing huge has happened. So I honestly think that th the Premier League TOTS that is coming this week is going to scare the market again since we haven't had a huge sell-off. Now, don't get me wrong. We have seen prices drop, right? Adama was like 750K on the weekend. He is 670K. Atal is down like 50,000 coins. Modric is down, Kent is down about 60k, you know, so if you take a look across the market and you look at different out of pack special cards, stuff is down, um, but it's not like super duper low, but I do think some of the stuff is going to rebound back into the week, and I want you guys to start specifically thinking about the Premier League out of pack specials, because that is something that everybody's going to be looking to buy and invest in, but also things that are going to be sky high on Friday night of this upcoming week. Uh, when Premier League team of the season comes out, people are going to buy up those Premier League special cards to link to those new team of the season. So that is one thing I want you guys to look out for. I'm not saying you have to make any buys right now unless you really want to and you think, hey, this card is super duper cheap and I'm just going to make the purchase now. So that's kind of the only caveat I would say if you do want to make a purchase, make sure that card is down a lot. And, uh, you know, of course, you know that the team of the seasons that are going to be coming out this Friday are going to be pretty expensive, right? Again, TOTS Community and TOTS EFL, a lot of pretty cheap cards. Valverde right now is 884,000 coins. These cards are dropping. These cards are dropping right now on this evening, Sunday night into Monday with squad battle rewards and weekend league sell-off. Um, I think some of these prices have dropped a little bit too much, especially because, you know, there's probably some people in the game that want to try these cards out still. I'm really, I'm really eyeing this Alaba card tonight, 748. Just kind of keeping an eye on it because he's gotten pretty low. Harvey Barnes has dropped off literally 100,000 coins today. And I still think this card's flying under the radar a little bit because this this right here is a good looking card, I think, uh, with the four-star, four-star upgrade. So he's right around 470,000 coins. 
uh, the English links. I know it's a left mid. And there's a lot of left mids in this game. Juan Bisaka as well is approaching 500k, which is pretty crazy. After this card was, I sold him for 770,000 coins on Friday afternoon. So just watch out. Valverde was like 1.1. He's down to 880k. And Kunku was almost 200,000 coins. He's 140. So just watch out for some potential small rises, in my opinion, leading into this week. Now, also, some of you guys might be looking at these um, road to the final cards. Gabriel Jesus is actually up from where he was. Um, but some of the road to the final cards are going to have some action this week. So there's going to be some eyes on them. Uh, and some of these icons as well, you can 100% fluctuation trade with them as people are selling off their, their cards from their teams. This best was a little under 500K today. And you look, he's right back to 540,000 coins. So you could have bought this at 490 and sold it now at like 530K. This Mateus was like 2.1 at one point today. He's still chilling at 2.3. This Rio was in the 1.6s. He's now in the high 1.7s. So there's still fluctuations on this market for sure. Open bids are going to be your best friend. I might try to snag this Alaba here if the prices allow. But again, look at this De Bruyne. 363,000 coins on bid. The market is still pretty quiet. And I think, um, wow, 800K flat for this Mane Team of the uh, Year nominee as well is kind of cheap. So... I just think that, you know, yes, this is team of the season, but so many people are realizing, hey, we know there's bigger cards coming. We know there's some really, really dope cards that are going to be coming out this Friday. And that's maybe making the game a little bit less hype uh, in a sense right now. Um, so it's going to be an interesting week to see what EA puts out because I also think there's some content this week that EA could drop that can make and cause some more panic on this game as well, considering things like a attacker icon SBC or some any form or variation of an icon SBC. And since we have upgrade packs that have been released, um, people are going to do these, right? Every time we've had player picks this year, even though it's not the 81 plus player pick that people are saying is really cracked, some people are saying this one's decent, right? And it only requires two rare. So this is again, going to be a spot where a lot of people are just going to be doing things this week, right? A lot of people are just going to be putting in gold rares and non rares into this 80 plus player pick. I don't think rares or non rares have really gone up that much yet. So if you have invested in those, um, I don't know if this is the rise that you really wanted to sell for, because again, the longer that we go, I mean, there's going to be way more demand for the player picks. I'm really not going to spend any coins this week on doing player picks for this team of the season that's in packs. Yeah, I would really like to pack in Dombele for the, for the untradeable Spurs club. You know, it'd be cool to pack maybe Juan Bissaka or Valverde, but I'm not going to put a lot of effort into it because I know the cards that are going to be coming out this next week and in the next couple weeks are going to be well worth my coins much more. Uh, worth my coins than it would be to put money uh, into these upgrade SBCs right now. But again, people see upgrade SBCs and they go and do them. So there are going to be people submitting their coins into these SBCs this week. Now, again, we've had actually, I would say this, we're three for three from EA Sports on good value SBCs. I know Zapata is not that meta, but this SAR card, he doesn't have the best of links, links to Mane. You know, he does link to a couple of players in the EFL tots, but this guy is an absolute beast of a super sub. It's only like 80,000 coins with fodder being as low, to it, as low as it is. And this guy is just, he's just blazing, blazing fast. So I've heard really good things about that. That's a really cheap SBC, easy to do. And then of course, Chiesa has been decent as well. But you know, if, if you're doing the, the player picks, you're going to be able to do all those SBCs pretty easy because they're pretty cheap. Uh, and you're going to be able to, to craft those semi easily. Now, I do think that there's a potential today for that EFL TOTS SBC to be released. People are going to do it, but it's really not going to be that hyped in my opinion, because uh, I mean, what cards do you really want to get from the EFL TOTS, TOTS side, right? The Tony Striker card, Buendia, you know, maybe Max Aaron, something like that. There's just not a lot of hype around that. The big hype later this week is going to be for that guaranteed community team of the season SBC, which last year, if we look at that squad and what it required, it was around 80,000 coins when this SBC was out to do. It was an 85 rated squad with one team of the season player. And this was our first TOTS player requirement, I believe, for the EFL TOTS. They did not require one, of course, because it had to be very cheap. Yes, it was just an 83 rated squad. So we might have our first team of the season player requirement coming later this week as well for the community TOTS. I know there's people right now that are going to be investing in these cards but you know what tonight's probably not a bad time to do it you know any of these like cruel or helic or um there's a couple 85s you know any of these cards that are team of the seasons that are basically discard uh even pookie at 45,000 coins you get one on bid at 41 42k you know that's one of the cheapest cards 
buy rating. This Grunewald's 35,000 coins, you know, as an 88 rated card, that's almost close to being fodder. So if you want to sna snag a couple of these TOTS cards that are basically fodder price, it's kind of a no risk investment. It really is pretty no risk. You can buy one, chuck in your club. And if you buy, if you want to look at some 84s, because I, people are going to do this guaranteed TOTS for the community. And if they make an 85 rated squad, with one team a season player, you're probably gonna need some 83s and 84s. I know a lot of people have gone unassigned on 83s. A lot of investing has happened on the 83s and you could even see it today. People were thinking that uh, yesterday, sorry, on Sunday, we might be getting one of those SBCs like a guaranteed and you can see the 83s were bought up to 6 p.m. and they dropped off because we did not get that content that a lot of people thought we were gonna get. And then of course, this drop off as well, it right here is for squad battle rewards. So that's really where this drop off happened. But you know, I think 83 started dropping off and then people went and started doing the SAR SBC because it was very cheap. And now they're again dropping off. Uh, a lot of people haven't invested. So I'd be, I'd be a little bit careful with that right there. But again, content wise for this week, Icon SBC could be coming at any time, right? I think EA still is gonna put out some sort of Icon SBC just to set it out there and be something that people can, you know, put their cards that they get from doing upgrade packs and doing these SBCs for uh, trying to pack TOTS cards, the fodder that they get, I think EA is gonna release some sort of Icon SBC to be a place where people can submit their coins as well. Uh, and then talking to market wise this week, again, since we didn't have that big of a sell off, I mean, you look at some of these icon moments cards and this is, this is specifically where I wanna look on the market right now because we had some really low prices on Friday um, and into, into, sorry, not Friday, into Wednesday of last week. And now some of these guys are really up, right? Some of these guys are up. They've come down a little bit. Uh, but e even like we were looking at Stoikov this weekend, this guy was down under a million coins easy. And right now he's just chilling at 1.1 mil, still up about 100,000 coins from where he was, maybe like 150K from his lowest earlier last week. I still think that this high tier market has some room to be sold off some more as people are again going to see those TOTS cards for the Premier League coming out later this week. Some of your team of the year cards as well, if we take a look at those uh, on this game, they're really not dropping that much, right? You remember Alfonso Davies, I think Footbin's being really slow right now, by the way. So disregard what is going on with the slowness of Footbin. I'm just going to go back here to the, to the market really fast because for whatever reason, Footbin is being mega, mega slow. But if we take a look at team of the years, I mean, you take a look at a guy like Alfonso Davies is our example right now. He was around 1.1 million coins this weekend. Right now he's on the market for 1.01. So he's down about 80, 90,000 coins, but this guy was 860K last week. And even like, he was like 900K on Friday morning. So a lot of this stuff has started to rise up um, on the market. You can see maybe not quite 900K Friday morning, but he was a million coins all of last week, really went up this weekend. And uh, I don't know, man, I, I really think that you're seeing some of the stuff rebound back and I feel like it's gonna come back down again. I feel like some of the stuff is gonna come back down. Bruno is actually really low, 2.01. I don't know if these undercuts are coming in because of weekend link sell-off. It seems like the weekend link sell-off was really delayed this weekend as well. And that might just be because people were really grinding it out. You can see Bruno was still 2.2 for most of the day on Sunday, dropped down to 2.1, dropping under 2 million coins. Wow, one eight on the Xbox? All right, now we have some situations. It looks like right now I'm recording this, there's like four hours left of Weekend League and you're seeing some big undercuts. 1.8 flat on the Xbox for Bruno. That's actually pretty cheap. Um, that's like down the lowest that Bruno was. So, you know, that's a situation on Xbox right there. Now on, um, on the PlayStation, it says Bruno's lowest was 1.95. He was actually about 1.9 flat, a little bit lower than that in the panic. So some of the stuff is actually coming down a little bit more than I expected before, but Ronaldo was still up 600K. Mbappe is still up about 500,000 coins as well. Kimmich is up over 100K. So some of the stuff I think still has room to drop, especially as we get towards team this season. So we'll watch these cards throughout the week, see what kind of panic that we do have and other things related to the market. But, you know, again, I feel like, yeah, people are like, hey, it's team of season time. This is dope, right? There's upgrade packs out. That's going to occupy people. But the real hype is coming later on this Friday. So I'm probably trading wise this week, just going to be messing around with the fluctuations. There's going to be a lot of fluctuations on these team of the season cards for the community because a lot of people are going to want to know, hey, when can I buy these if I want to buy it for my team? You know, um, 
there's going to be a lot of panic. We talked about it in last night's video, what the kind of the fluctuations look like with these TOTS cards when they get the guaranteed SBC. There's always, you know, people are smarter every single year. People are going to sell these cards. If we get the EFL TOTS to SBC today on Monday, um, and we will be expecting that community TOTS SBC coming on Wednesday, probably Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, you'll see some sell-off on these TOTS cards because people are going to say, hey, uh, this is the this is the way they did it years past. You know, we think we're, they're going to do it again the same way this year. And I think you're going to see people be prepared for that. But also a lot of the casual user base is not going to be ready for it. And you're going to see panic selling on these TOTS cards on Wednesday. And then we're kind of be looking at the Wednesday, Thursday time frame for some of these cards, especially for like a Wamba Saka, right? If you want this guy for your team, you're definitely looking at a Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday time frame for maybe a buy with Premier League team of the season coming out this Friday uh, expected to come out. I guess we don't have it confirmed, but if it's not Premier League, then I mean, EA would be in the mud because that's definitely the squad that we need to see this weekend. So that's kind of an interesting thought process as well, just watching the fluctuations on these. And of course, these out-of-pack specials are going to move around as well. I do think you're going to see some of the Premier League. I got to watch this bid because it's a late night and that might go for too cheap. I think you might see some of the Premier League out-of-pack special cards really start to pick up later this week. I think people are going to realize last year what happened. They're going to find some of the really meta and rare cards. And if you want to get involved with some of the stuff, is there if there's a day of panic uh, this week, maybe when the TOTS SPC comes out, if they release an icon pack or whatever it may be, if there is a day of panic, just, just go out and take a look at some of your cards that might not get a TOTS card. Some of them that will get a TOTS card because getting the team of the season will draw hype to their name, right? Headliner Sun, you know, that's the best version of Hyunmin Sun that we have in the game this year. And, you know, he probably could get a TOTS card. And um, that's going to bring a lot of attention to Sun, right? And, you know, Premier League links are going to rise. So, again, there's a lot of left mids in the Prem, of course especially with some of the new ones like the Harvey Barnes that we just had, uh, but maybe like Prem center backs, you know, your Kyle Walker in form would be something that is a really meta card, OP card that people would still be interested in using, even with team season cards being out. And your other just like freeze money. This card fluctuates around like crazy. Uh, you know, 875 right now, so he's down a little bit. You can get crazy undercuts on bid. Uh, so I would watch out for those Prem specials to potentially be a place where, um, not where you could like make some money, but you could potentially look for low prices if there's any panic this week and then see those prices rebounding later on in the week. But again, this market to me is healthy, right? Because we have a lot of coins that have been put on the market with lightning rounds, with saved up packs being opened, and it's going to be a good week to flip. So that's kind of my thoughts on like the market and flipping as a whole. SBC fodder as well remains very low, right? Of course, we've we've exited the main time of the weekend. A lot of the supply has gone. Now, things we could have that could be supplied this week. UEFA marquee matchups coming out in the middle of the week. I don't know if they're going to do that. I, I would think that they would. Of course, we've got Real Madrid and Chelsea and then PSG and Manchester City. And then we have the Europa League games as well. So they could very easily um, do UEFA marquee matchups again. I don't know when they really stop that. Um but I think they will do an SBC. So that could be something you kind of look out for, not to really invest in the requirements for that, but just know that uh, that's those usually come out on Wednesday. So Wednesday could be a double whammy because we have potential pack supply for these cards that are in packs and the guaranteed TOTS SBC. So Wednesday might be a sleeper day to be looking at these TOTS cards for a potential buy for your team if you do want to buy or invest in any, any of these because... Um, that's going to be a day before Thursday. A lot of people are going to look at Thursday and say, hey, that's the day that I need to buy. But hey, it might actually be Wednesday with the supply and the panic selling. That could uh, that could make for a very interesting situation on Wednesday. So that's just kind of preliminary thoughts on that. I do think that on Thursday, we'll probably get some sort of loading screen with some concepts on the front um, that would be cards we could be seeing for a Premier League team this season. So watch out for that loading screen kind of hype coming out as well. Uh, this this Usman is getting really cheap. If I can get this for like 430, I will. I'm not gonna mess around and just bid on it right there. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's the kind of the name of the game, right? Your weekly sell off. You have cards fluctuating like this. Hullet was down at 502. He rebounded back to like 550 for a little bit. That's how I sold this Desai. That's on my transfer list. Um, we had a huge huge weekend making coins. I traded a little bit yesterday on Sunday. I think I made a cheeky like maybe 70 or 80k from these cards right here. Nothing nothing too crazy. 
Uh, actually, probably a little bit more than that because this card right here, I bought at 530. That was a decent one. This I got at 827. Got this at 504, got this at 300 flat, and I got three Jotas at 115 and 113 uh, because those are just pretty cheap as well. So, you know, you're going to see some fluctuations. That's going to be a good week to trade. Watch your icons as well, right? Icons are going to be great to trade. And whenever there's panic, was that a Vier at 2 1? Just sitting, 2 1 5 3. Interesting. That's a almost 200K undercut, but um, I would want to see somebody undercut that before I would go and buy that on a, on a, a night like this on a Sunday night. So, um, yeah, man, I think that's going to be kind of the place for the market this week. Watch your road to the finals, of course, leading into um, the games on Tuesday and Wednesday. I know some people might be looking to invest or to buy some of these road to the finals. I don't know if I'm super duper interested in that because, again, I feel like the hype is um, really, really, really around the team of the season stuff that's going on. So I'm not going to mess with road to the finals too much this week. I know Varane is down. If he goes to like low one threes, I might get interested and he's 1.4. So not super low on Varane. Eden Hazard is up. That Gabriel Jesus was 520K. That was kind of the buy time for him. Cancelo, you know, Cancelo could be an interesting one if you want to mess around with some of those road to the finals. But honestly, I'm just going to be staying pretty liquid this week and just doing a lot of quick flipping and market uh, trend trading, I guess you could call it, because that's what I feel like I've been the most efficient lately, and I want to continue to stay in that. If, if it's working, if it, what do they say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I've been doing really good with the flips lately, um, so I'm going to keep doing that throughout the week this week. That's kind of the market outlook, though, man. I'm really curious to see. We've got the upgrade packs out, so that's going to take some coins off the market. People are going to be going and doing SBCs. I do feel like we're going to get some sort of icon upgrade, those guaranteed TOTS packs. And again, the hype is just going to continue to build into Friday with the guarantee, with the Premier League, hopefully, team of the season. We're going to have a lot of videos coming out this week talking about the market, talking about predictions uh, for Premier League TOTS and all that sort of stuff and how you can make coins, especially during this time frame. As, of course, we all want to make coins during this period so that we have coins to do upgrade packs to try to buy these players buy a team whatever is your uh desire and of course thursday we've got the first tots weekly rewards as well right now i'm on 12 i think i'm on 12 wins uh i don't i probably i'm gonna get two more i was gonna stop at 11 but i kind of want to get 14 just for two player picks i'm not gonna go for gold two I, I can't sweat that out that's three hours and 42 minutes i get i ain't got time for that man i gotta sleep too so i'm gonna stop at 14 if i can get there and uh, yeah, that'll be two player picks for me coming later this week. So good luck. Or right, well, you've already finished champs by the time you're watching this video pretty much. But um, hopefully your champs weekend wasn't too terrible. Uh, mine wasn't too bad. I'm 12 and 12 and 6 right now, which you know what? I'm being fairly efficient. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, getting to 14 pretty quick is usually my goal on a weekend like this. But anyways, I'm rambling. If you enjoyed this video, Smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. That is the market outlook for this week. Many more to come during Team of the Season. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.